Jacek Lasota. The right position. The right position. Jacek Lasota. Dear friends, do you like me? Yes. Well, I didn't expect so much enthusiasm, but thank you. I would like to tell you that I like you too. And I think you are the great audience. And you deserve the best possible entertainment on this stage. And I'm sure every contestant today will do his best to satisfy you. At least when it comes to speaking. And my contribution to your satisfaction today will be a story from my life. It was 21 years ago, I was 10 at that time, and we had May and Sunday. So I repeat, May, Sunday, and I was 10. You can guess what was, what, what was that day. And you're right, that was the day of my first Holy Communion in the Catholic Church. So you can imagine me standing like this in the church, wearing my first tailor-made suit, and unfortunately also the last one. <laughs> and I was standing like this, looking very innocent, okay, that's not me today, but imagine me innocent, and I was thinking about God, and I was listening to what priest is saying, and I have to confess something. Actually, I wasn't thinking so much about God and listening to the priest, and to be honest with you, I was thinking about something completely else. I was thinking about what I'm going to do when I leave the church and when I get home and get all the presents from my family. <laughs> and when I got home, believe me, I wasn't disappointed. I got something, would you compare today with, let's say, iPhone 5 or something like this. It was a very powerful computer machine, Atari. I was so excited to get this, so I unpacked everything. I pl plugged all devices together, and I got also a very nice thing, a joystick. Very simple device. So, for left, for right and left-handed, and I plugged it, and what I did, I don't understand why I did it like this, but I put it in a different position. And if you do that, left means right, right means left, up means down, and so on. And I thought this joystick is broken. <laughs> and maybe this, this is the reason why I'm not an IT guy today, <laughs> and I have to, I have to sell to, ma to make money. But going back to my story, I went to my mom and, and, said, and told her, Mom, joystick is broken. And she said, don't worry, next, next week we come by at the shop and you, you can exchange it. I said, what? Next week? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I have to play whole week with the broken joystick? And I had to. And <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, I managed to cheat my brain that left is right, right is left, and up is down, and down is up. So I created my, whole, my own matrix for it. <laughs> and and the game I was playing was Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, and the one objective was to destroy everything on the screen. Simple, easy objective, don't you think? But if you have mixed directions, it's not so easy. But I was, as I said, very successful at that. And after some, some time, it was boring for me. You know why? Because nobody could see my success. So I decided to bring someone and brag a little bit, show off a little bit, and then my, fr my best friend came, I was explaining home the rules and how, how difficult it is and how good I am. And then I told him, why don't you try? And he came. And the very first thing what he did was shocking for me. Because he dared to move the joystick in the proper position. <laughs> and, and for him, for him, left was left, right was right, up was down and down was down. And he started playing, and I felt like, I felt like Luke Skywalker, who discovered who his real father is. <laughs> I, I felt like, like Father Rizik, who didn't get place for, for TV fam on digital platform. I felt like Amber got customer, who realized 15% interest on goal, it's a bullshit. So you can, you can have a, a little bit image what I felt at that moment. And he was playing, he was really into the game, and I was looking at him, I was staring at him, and wanted to kill him. <laughs> and when I was thinking about methods, how I should eliminate him from this world, <laughs> he died, but not because of me, in the game. And there was game over on the screen. And then, when he died, he, 
he turned to me and said, let's take. I don't understand one thing. Why the hell have you been playing all week with the bro uh, wrong position of the joystick? And what? I didn't know what to say. <laughs> so the only thing I could come up was, huh, everyone can do it when it's like this. Try to play with the joystick when it's the uh, wrong way around. And he said, wow, Jacek, respect. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are God. You are, you are a tough guy. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, how I managed not to destroy my reputation on the block <laughs> among my homies. And I, was, I raised um, in Targovac. Maybe at the beginning of the 90s, it wasn't a bad district, not a jungle. But it was tough to live there, <laughs> believe me. And reputation was something important, especially for a <laughs> 10-year-old boy. And this whole story has had huge impact on me, I have to admit. And I would like to leave you with a message that when the times come and someone take your life joystick and bring it to the proper position, do not be afraid. It's for your own good. Thank you. <laughs>